Hello and welcome to Coffee Break Q&A. My name is Michael Moret. Coffee Break Q&A is the question and answer program, a ministry of scripture verse by verse, your opportunity to ask any Bible questions that you might have. I'm not making any promises because I'm not a Bible answer man, but I can tell you what I think. And I will do my best to give you a biblical answer to your Bible-related question. I'll give you my address at the end of the broadcast where you can send any questions that you might have. Today we have a question from a listener who writes, What does the gospel is the power of God for salvation mean? And I was so happy to get this question because I love the verse that he is referring to, which is Romans chapter 1, verse 16. Let me read that. For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ, for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, to the Jew first and also to the Greek. The gospel, let me tell you what the gospel is. The gospel is the good news that Jesus Christ, the eternal Son of the eternal Father, did not leave us in our sins, in a hopeless situation where we would burn in hell forever, but instead became a man, became a baby, and grew up and lived a sinless life and then died on the cross as our Lamb of God, as our sacrificial offering to pay for our sins and satisfy the justice of God that was against us because of the sins that we had committed against him. That's the gospel in a nutshell, and that you can have eternal life by receiving Jesus into your life as your Savior, asking him to come in, save you from hell, and make a commitment to submit to his lordship. That is what it means. That is the gospel. And that message that I just gave you is the power of God for salvation. In other words, it's not only the only message that saves a person from hell. It is. And it is activated in a person's life when they receive Christ. Just knowing the facts won't do it. You have to act on it. For those who believe, in other words, for those who receive Christ, it becomes the power of God for salvation in them. But another thing that I really love about this verse is that you don't have to be an expert on a person's situation or, let's say, some member of a cult. You don't have to be an expert on that cult and what they believe and try to refute them at every level. Just give them the gospel. Because when you repeat the gospel, the message that I just told you, Jesus is the Son of God. Jesus died on the cross to pay for our sins. You can have repent. You can have eternal life and salvation from hell if you repent and receive Christ as your Lord and Savior. That is the gospel in a nutshell. And it doesn't matter who you're talking to or what they may be involved in. That's the power of God unto salvation. It doesn't depend on your eloquence. It doesn't depend on your knowledge of whatever it is that they're involved in. Just give them the gospel. If they are at all open, the Holy Spirit will take that essential message, the gospel, and confirm that it is the power of God unto salvation by burning it in their hearts bringing them under deep conviction until they can't stand it anymore and they repent and they receive Christ. It is the words of the gospel that is the power of God for salvation. So there have been times when I have dealt with certain cult members. I was pretty much clueless as to where they were coming from, but it didn't bother me. I just kept repeating the gospel. I kept repeating the message over and over again. And I know that they heard it. And so if they have an open heart, the Holy Spirit will use it to save their soul. It's not eloquence. It's not education. It's not anything. It's the message of the gospel that saves a person from hell. So you can give that message to anyone and the Holy Spirit will go to work on them. That is what it is meant. That is what is meant by the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. I hope that helps. If you have a question for me, please send it to scripture verse by verse at gmail.com.